Welcome to Blazeball Know Your Teams, the Mild Low Division. Mild Low was formed at the end of Season 5, after the High Filter Decree was passed in the Season 4 election. This created the divisions by dividing the teams based on their standing that season. Mild Low was formed with the teams that were placed 11th to 15th. At the end of Season 8, the Kansas City Breath Mints swapped in from Mild High. And at the end of season 10, the Canada Moist Talkers swapped in, also from Mild High, leaving only half of the original lineup. The Baltimore Crabs were added in season 12 during the dissension, despite having been in Wild High before they ascended. So let's start with the Hawaii Fridays. The Fridays are the chillest team in the ILB, often arriving late to games as they run exclusively on island time. The Friday's stadium is less a physical building and more a concept, as they will play wherever has the right vibes for that game. More important to the team is a good location for the post-game cookout, to which all players and fans are invited. In order to make sure everyone can eat safely, the Fridays voted to add a peanut mister in their ballpark renovations, which can cure peanut allergies. Their arcana, the High Priestess, was in the season 13 draw, and resulted in them gaining a team modification, sinking ship. This modifier means they play 1% better for every player under 14 they have, and 1% worse for every player over. Despite this, they still have five original players, but have also suffered six incinerations. The Fridays made their first postseason appearance as a wild card, but clearly enjoyed the experience, deciding to gain two more postseason tickets since. And of course, you couldn't mention the Fridays without including their classic chant, TGIF. Next are the Canada Moist Talkers. In order to enter the stadium, affectionately called the Moist Zone, you must pass three areas, the spittle moat, the showers, and a 300 foot slip and slide. It is based in Halifax, Canada, but between the postseason and Earl season can sometimes drift to other locations. In keeping with their general vibe, the fans voted to install big buckets in the stadium, which award an extra run for any home run hit into them. They have the arcana, the Hierophant, which hasn't been seen in a draw yet. The team have five of their original players, but have faced eight incinerations, the highest number of any team. The Moist Talkers have made four postseasons, their first two both ending in round one defeats to the Philly Pies. They overcame this to become season 14 champions. They gained the high pressure modifier in season 13, which means they play 25% better in flooding weather when players are on base. There is a close friendship with division mates, the Charleston Shoe Thieves, who they've traded players with five times. A solid fan favorite chant is call and response, stay wet, you bet. We move on to the Yellowstone magic. The Magic Stadium shifts location within Yellowstone National Park, but is often found with the pitcher's mound placed directly above Old Faithful. When near the stadium, you may notice signs with bird facts. This is a nod to the large variety of birds present in Yellowstone, 300 of which have been trained to protect it. The stadium is staffed by park rangers, who manage all building tasks as well as organising tours of the natural wonders. Yellowstone is the only stadium with the heat magnet modifier, which collects heat from incinerations and passes it to a thermal converter, which is helpful when playing near an active volcano. The stadium also has solar panels, which prevent the first activation of Sun 2, converting it instead to runs for the next game. The Magic have very aptly been awarded the Magician Arcana, which was the first card in the Season 12 draw, giving one of the team the modification over under. They have seven original players, with just five incinerations. The Magic have top and tailed their postseason appearances, being seen in season one and season 14, but have slightly ruined the symmetry by being a wild card in season 11. All fan chants for the Magic are vetted for adverse mystical potential before being permitted for use in live baseball games. And now the Charleston Shoe Thieves. The Shoe Thieves are the second gayest team in ILB, having lost a game of rock, paper, scissors for the title. Their stadium originated as a French patisserie, 
before having Blazeball Games played in it. The patisserie is still active and funds the majority of the shoe thieves' activities. The shoe is also inhabited by gnomes, who ensure that every guest to the stadium leave barefoot. Fans voted to make the stadium psychoacoustic, which means in certain weathers they can echo the modifiers of the other team. The shoe also became a crime scene at the end of season 14. This means when a hard-boiled player plays in the stadium, they will investigate. The team are in possession of the Wheel of Fortune Arcana, which hasn't made a seasonal draw yet. They retain seven of their original players, but have suffered six incinerations. The Shoe Thieves have a solid postseason record, making five appearances and having a championship and two league titles to their name. They have even been wildcard picks once. They gained the travelling modifier in season 10, which means they play 5% better at away games. Fans of the Shoe Thieves are known as accomplices, due to the team originating as a cover for a heist. Now we come to the Kansas City Breathmints. Playing in a meadow makes declaring a home run very difficult, which leads to the necessity of having a surveyor at all matches to determine the plot line. The stadium is also home to a memorial butterfly garden, which is one of three memorials at the stadium. However, fans are advised to avoid the parking lot at all costs, and no clarification has been offered on that matter. During renovations, it was decided by fans to not only make the stadium psychoacoustic, but to also install big buckets. This may be to entice fans to keep coming when this stadium too has become a crime scene. Having received Arcana 13, the Breath Mints now on occasion go by the Death Mints. This name is somewhat undermined by them only having seen three incinerations and retaining seven original players. The team made one postseason appearance in season six and missed out in season five due to divine favour ruling against them in a tiebreak. Fans of this team refer to themselves as the Minty Way and can often be heard chanting, Minty Fresh. Finally, the Baltimore Crabs. The crab attack is built under and around the body of the mother crab. To enter, you must pass through the mandibles, a reminder of what you face inside. It is, as far as known, the only stadium that is ready to be weaponized against other stadiums should the need arise. Fans have added to the stadium by making it psychoacoustic and installing a peanut mister. The Crabs retain six original players and have only faced three incinerations. Their Arcana the Fool was drawn in season 14. They share it with three other teams having been absent when the Arcana were assigned. However, on this occasion, it bore the Crabs emblem. The Crabs have made seven postseason appearances, winning the league in seasons six, eight and ten before ascending, the only team to have done so. They descended in season 12 and went on to win in season 13. This was followed by a less impressive season, but they still showed up as wild cards. Before Ascension, the Crabs played the Shoe Thieves in the finals twice, winning one and losing the other. When they descended, they had gained the modifier Carsonization, which allows them to steal the other team's best hitter for a match when they activate Black Hole. Having won season 13, they were also awarded Unholy, which impairs a player on the opposing team by 1% when the Crabs activate Black Hole. Alongside their chant of Claws Up, which is feared across the whole ILB, their fans are also known to chime in with, Ain't no laws when you have claws. Between them, the stadiums in this division have installed all the available ballpark modifiers, as well as having both the active crime scenes in ILB. There are only two teams without permanent modifiers, but there are three different championship winners. And that is the Mild Low Division. Join me for more Blazeball fun and facts soon, but until then, rejoice, play ball.